Now, time to turn our attention to youth sports and some brilliant young achievers. Now, I'm going to ask you a pop quiz here. What game teaches you about strategic thinking, about valuable lessons in life, in sportsmanship, and also happens to be the favourite game of four elephants in a car? I'm talking about squash. All jokes aside, it is a very physically demanding sport. Newen got the opportunity to come to terms with it on court with South Africa's leading lady in squash, Sioli Waters. From gyms to schools, squash is a popular social sport. However, very few South Africans reach the pinnacle of the game, and one of those rare sports people is Sioli Waters. Well, as you can see, Sioli is all about those perfect shots, those controlled shots, and she hardly makes any errors. She can most literally play any shot in the book, making her the ultimate all-rounder. And today, I have a feeling I'm going to be learning a thing or two about the game of squash. Sayoli is the current national women's champion and has had a sensational year on the international circuit, achieving 33rd position on the Women's Squash Association rankings. Sioli, I think you're one of the very lucky few people who is good at pretty much any sport you decide to take on. But why did you decide to stick to squash? I played tennis, I was hockey, and uh, um, as well as athletics. But I think with squash, I, I found that I could practice by myself. But with the other sports, I needed a partner or needed to be within a club. And I found that my improvement accelerated really quickly. And I really enjoyed the sport and soon became the SAA Junior Champion. And you're also all about giving back with your coaching clinics. Yes, my coaching really is, is about giving back to kids who actually don't have the opportunity to play the squash or can afford to play the squash. And I think there's so many people from, especially from my closer background, my own family, who don't know the sport. So to be a part of that process of bringing exposure of the sport to the nation, I fully love that. And you're also a bit of an academic, having completed your BSc in chemistry. I mean, why did you decide to chemistry, first of all? And also, how important is it for sports stars to look after what they're going to do when they don't practice their sports anymore? The process of actually getting a degree, it teaches you so much about how to even handle yourself as an athlete in, in the future. So yes, why well, I chose to do a BSc chemistry, I always loved maths. And that was one of my favourite subjects. So very glad that I was able to get through that and finish that degree and still be able to play later on and still become a professional. It's tough as athletes. You never know when your profession is going to end. And I believe that if you have something to fall back on, that's a wonderful way to go. Now, I won't lie, I'm a little bit nervous for today. Um, I don't think I'm the best squash player ever. What am I in for? Oh, you and I must say, um, if you're planning on winning, uh, maybe not today, but uh, I think we should have a good round. Mm, I might just surprise you. Uh... We'll see. <laughs> A half an hour game of squash can burn up to 3,000 kilojoules, the energy equivalent of two hamburgers. So you and stamina and speed are being put to the test. Ah, that's it. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, 2020 Olympics are just around the corner. What's the status? Where's your mindset at this stage? Do you think you're heading there? Yes, squash has been fighting really hard to be a part of the Olympics bid. And uh, for 2020, we're still in the shortlist, but we're still hoping we're to make it in there. What's up next for you? Where are you heading? End of the year is ending big, so it's the big Grand Slams that's happening. I'll be in Hong Kong from the end of November, going straight into the World Champs in Malaysia in the middle of December. So really looking forward to competing while there. This inspiring sportswoman doesn't believe in resting on her laurels. Her goal is to improve her international ranking and take SA Squash to the next level. She only plays with guts and determination. The one thing she does not do is quit. That is why she is where she is today. But at least now I can say that I went up against a professional athlete. And I've realized that squash is a great workout. You work up quite a bit of sweat, so it is nice to put on a fresh smelling shirt at the end of the day. Squash is a sweaty sport. An Omo Auto Liquid, along with the LG Titan machine, give a really hygienic wash and efficiently remove stains. Not having to worry about the laundry means you have more time for your next game of squash with your friends. Switch on to Omo Auto and LG, perfect partners for all your laundry needs.